but look at this. Torque for days. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing a 2022 Jeep Gladiator Willys Edition with the Eco Diesel Powertrain. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Provo, Utah for giving me some time with this Gladiator. This one is available for sale right now. If you're interested, check out the inventory in the description down below. And then, as always, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a three liter turbo diesel V6. It goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. It is good for 260 horsepower and then 442 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 22 around town and then 28 on the highway. Now let's go over the front end of the wheelies, wheelies, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, you guys can see here with the hood, you have these two little things you can lower the windshield onto. And of course, you gotta have your diesel sticker so everyone knows it has a diesel. That's just put on by the dealership, but I thought it was funny. Anyways, you guys can see here with the wheelies logo. And then you'll see how the whole front grille has been blacked out, gloss black. And then we just have these standard lights here. So the halogen bulbs. And you can see here with the tow hooks there on the bumper. And again, we've got the standard bumper as well. We do have fog lights built into the bumper. And there's the front end. Coming around the side here, we've got two 55 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. Notice how the wheels have been all blacked out to kind of go with the sporty theme of the Willys Edition. And then these are mud terrain tires, as you can see. Now, just like other Gladiators, we do have a solid front axle. And then notice here, we've got a little vent piece right there. You've got the Jeep Gladiator logo. Mirrors are blacked out. This also has the black hard top. And then notice the door handles match. And then the little trim there on the fender flares also matches. And then popping here to the rear, you guys can see again with how aggressive those tires are. Here's a quick look at the rear shocks. And we do have a solid rear axle as well, just like other Gladiator models. And you can see with the uh, exhaust a little bit. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock lock function and then remote start with the Jeep logo there on the back. And if we open this up, very slow lowering. Payload capacity of 100, or sorry, 1,112 pounds. Almost messed up by, well, only 1,000 pounds. Anyways, notice here how we've got the spray-in liner, got the LED lights here in the back as well, and you know, solid storage space for a mid-sized truck. Also, lifting this up, very easy. Now, I wanna finish things up with the rest of the rear by starting off with the axle ratio, which is 3.73 here with the EcoDiesel. Notice how we have our EcoDiesel badge right there and then we have our recovery hook there on the rear with the receiver hitch on the very bottom and yeah overall looks like a gladiator on the outside right now here's the door panel on the rear you got this nice padding right here and then we've got the rock rails here on the side and then we have the cloth seats so that's kind of a thing with this willie's edition is you do get some cool off-road tech but you still get the you know base model interior to save money and so you go. Now here's the front door panel. You guys can see again here with the padding and look at the door handle there. Normal mirrors, you got your door lock and unlock and then the adjustments for the mirrors. And then here are the front seats. Again, you can see the bolstering on them is pretty solid. They are manually adjustable. And then here's the pedal layout just down below. We've got our light control situation here with the fog light and then the cargo light. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Let's pop in. Now here is the steering wheel. You guys can see really nice leather trim all around. You got the darker stitching there. We got cruise control, radio controls there on the back of the steering wheel, voice command, phone controls, controls for the center stack, turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock, you know, all the normal works. Here is the gauge cluster, pretty normal. You got analog gauges there on either side. And then you can see here in the center stack, uh, there's a bunch of different menus you can scroll through to see different bits of info on the Jeep, like on the drivetrain, for example. 23 miles per gallon, that is not bad. I mean, think about this, it's got pretty aggressive uh, tires. And yeah, other than that, that is pretty much everything for the center. Here's the infotainment system. First off, if we pop it in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn the steering wheel. Then you got the zoom function with that camera as well. Uh, dual zone climate here. Um, I don't think this has heated seats. We'll double check. Yeah, no, no, no heated seats or anything 
like that. Uh, as for the infotainment system, pretty easy to use. Response time's great. It's not massive, but you know, gets the job done. Down below, we've got our analog controls for the radio and the climate system. Again, dual zone climate system. We've got off-road cruise control, and yes, it shows a Wrangler, not a Gladiator. Heater. You've got your stability control, auto stop start, window controls, and then a little charging port area with the 12 volt right there. And then we have our drive line select. We have two wheel high, four wheel high, neutral, and then four wheel low. And then our transmission selector for the eight speed automatic. Regular parking brake right here. And then you guys can see all the storage space here in the Gladiator. And then notice how this is gray here on the dash. And then normal glove box with the grab handle. And then finishing things up top, again, got the hard top where you can take this off pretty easily. And there you go. So here's our winter sticker for this 2022 Willys. And notice here that we have the Dana 44 uh, front and rear axles. It says heavy duty, actually. Um, anyways, you guys can see here with the standard equipment are probably not very well because of all of the glare. Um, but there is quite a bit this part of the uh, 26W package, which is the Willys edition, which is $62.95, including the track lock anti-spin rear differential, uh, which basically kind of acts as like a rear locker in a sense. Um, but anyways, after all options, including the Eco Diesel powertrain, which is $4,000, Total MSRP is $54,835, and I almost tripped. That was funny. Let's set off. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility of the hood, both of the mirrors. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Off in the Eco Diesel Gladiator. And well, if you guys don't know already, I am such a huge fan of the Eco Diesel powertrain, especially when it's in a smaller vehicle like this. It, it does a great job in like the Ram 1500, for example, but like they used to offer it in the Grand Cherokee, and that was so cool. And they offer it, you know, in the Wrangler and the Gladiator still, and it's just it's just awesome being able to get you know great fuel economy and yes diesel does cost more than regular gas um so it does mitigate the savings a little bit uh, but that being said it gives you more range which is great especially if you're going on like off-road adventures range is very important that is for sure um first off the willies edition and the gladiator um i've already reviewed one for this year i'm pretty sure uh, basically it drives like a regular gladiator you do get a little bit more tire noise with these mud terrain tires um, but if you go from like a gladiator and street tires to this there's not really a huge perceivable difference let's see what the air pressure's at yeah that's right right about where it should be um so yeah it's drives like a gladiator which basically with solid front and rear axles you know you kind of get a little bit of uh interesting feeling with the uh, steering wheel where it kind of is pretty vague right a little bit of on center vagueness um, but overall, it's a vehicle you can get used to. Like, it, if you drive like this back to back with like you know a Jeep Grand Cherokee, for example, yeah, this is going to feel pretty uh, robust and utilitarian compared to the Grand Cherokee. But if you just drive this in a vacuum, it doesn't drive all that bad, honestly. Now, as for the diesel powertrain, which is the uh, main point of today's review, this thing is a monstrosity in the Gladiator. Look at this. Torque for days. It just feels so good in the Gladiator. It can really turn these, you know, more aggressive tires, right? They're not massive, but they're definitely not small either. Uh, I love the sound of the powertrain. I love the low end torque. And the thing I've noticed about the Eco Diesel is it's kind of happiest where you're like partial throttle. Full throttle, yeah, it's it, it gets up and moves, but partial throttle is where it's at. We're actually gonna go in here. Um, partial throttle is where it's at. So like, here's the difference, okay? This is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so I'm just gonna go partial throttle. See how it just kind of, like it's not crazy fast or anything, but like it's just, it, it's just constantly at peak torque and it feels really good, okay? Now again, for demonstration purposes. Gonna wait for this guy to walk by. Any year now. Doo, doo, doo. We aren't drag racing in a parking lot, mister. We're just, um, uh, I don't know. Anyways, okay, full throttle. So you can see it, it definitely has like a, a more aggressive pickup, but it, 
what you kind of feel is it kind of dies off towards the uh, red line, which is pretty typical for a diesel. And so just doing partial throttle feels great. And it, I, I love the driving experience associated with it. Um, frankly, if the 392 didn't exist in the uh, Wrangler, this is what the powertrain I'd have in my Wrangler. Seriously, because I, I love the sound of it. I love the idea of having tons of fuel range. Uh, I love the feel of it from a driving perspective. And I like how I can just drive around at partial throttle and it feels good. I don't have to like go foot all the way down to the floor for it to feel like I'm having fun um, or to feel like I'm getting the most out of it, right? So yeah, I think it's awesome in the wheel. I didn't even know they put this in the willies, frankly. And so I think if, uh, if I mean, this is just my opinion. I think if I was gonna get, if the 392 didn't exist and I was gonna get, well, you can't even get it in a Gladiator anyways. So if I'm gonna get a Gladiator, I'm getting this powertrain. The V6 doesn't even contend in my mind. Like the V6 is just bleh, boring. Um, this though, great in the Gladiator. Wrangler, they have the new 4xe. They've got the two ho turbo. They've got they've got there tons of engines in the Wrangler. Um, take away the 392, and I'd still probably go for this over the 4xe uh, because I I feel like this is going to be more reliable. It's a little bit more simplistic. It's just a good old turbo diesel versus you know a turbocharged four cylinder with a hybrid system, and so. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Eco Diesel. I think it's pretty dang cool. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this Eco Diesel Gladiator. Again, huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler and Provo for giving me some time with this Gladiator. Check their inventory in the description down below. I'll see you guys.